I noticed some people that were confused with the letter ha and ha. It seems like they're having problems with the articulation point. Now, let's look at this diagram. So what we have here is the mouth and that's the throat there. This is where the throat is, around that area. And as you can see, the letter ha, which is a heavy letter, is in the middle of the throat while ha is in at the bottom it's more towards the the chest area now the difference between the two is that ha is actually used in english like hello hi that's the ha ha on the other hand is not used in english and it's much it's got a, it's a heaviness it's got a heaviness to it it's actually higher up as you can see, it's higher up than the ha. So it's going to take some practice, but I'll just repeat after me. So ha is when you breathe when you breathe out. It's like ha, 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 ha. It's it's a, it's much easier to do than ha. With ha, it's a, it's a bit, you need, there's a bit more strength required. So with uh, ha, it's ha, 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 not ha, ha. And you'll notice that it's a bit above the ha. And I think the best thing to do is maybe to get an Arab, somebody that knows the language, to listen to you. Because sometimes you might think you're doing a ha, but you're actually not doing it. I hope that's clarified it. And um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen.